So I'm just stopping by. Um, I'm done with my day at Medica and sort of chilling out. I thought I would go ahead and leave a message here for you. Um, I had a very good question when I happened to post about frequencies. And of course the quantum is full of either what you want to call frequencies, vibrations, energy. It, it really all is the same. And the question is, how do we know like what frequency we're at or how do we know how we're relating to the quantum? So there's two ways that I think that I could uh, chat with you about and, and see what your thoughts are. And one of them is that it is your thoughts and your feelings. So if you happen to be a person walking around and there's a lot of negative thinking in your brain, then you are not going to be vibrating high enough to connect into the quantum energies which vibrate or you know flow at a very high frequency. Um, so you wouldn't match. It would be as if like, you know, the wind was blowing, but it was blowing above your head. And so you're never actually in the stream of the wind. So our thoughts do that a lot because our thoughts uh, can have us create doubt, create fear, create judgment. All of these things, they, do, they don't actually have a high frequency in the quantum. They do exist. Uh, so the other thing that you would want to consider is that if you are thinking with judgmental thoughts, then the quantum says, oh, you, you want judgmental thoughts. That's how you navigate life. And so instead of sending you understanding frequencies or compassionate or empathy or things like this, it sends out the frequencies which exist in judgment, um, determinations, decisions, uh, quantifying, that kind of thing. Um, so the other way that you could think of this is uh, like a piano. So a piano has a certain number of keys which match a certain number of strings inside the piano. And of course those are all sitting in the piano all the time. They don't go away. Um, now, whether we sit down and play the piano, whether we strike a, a key on the piano, which causes a hammer to hit the wire in the piano, and it makes a sound, it makes a frequency. So you could think of yourself as the person who is sitting down to play the piano, and that would be you on any given day. Um, if you play high notes, you get high notes as the sound. If you play low notes, you get low notes as the sound. Your actions in this case are what is causing your vibration to be coming back to you. So the quantum is very much the same. Thinking of it as a piano, it's whatever your actions are. So we now have thoughts, feelings, and actions. This all determines what the quantum actually streams back to you in direct accordance to what you are putting out into the quantum. It's not like we actually stand there and say, I want joy. I mean, we certainly could say, I want joy. But unless we experience joy, unless we are joy, unless we are sending out joy, uh, joy does not know how to find us, not in the quantums. It, it does have to match up with what we are doing. So during this time, when all the quantum energies are building, when the planets are realigning, when Earth is being streamed, one of the things that I could tell you very easily is, what do you want? What do you want in your life? And whatever that is, then be that. If you want to have happiness in your life, then sit down at your piano, find the key for happiness, and, and hit it. And hit it again and again, and as many times as you like, and then weave it into a song that you love, and play that song. If you want comfort, if you want love, whatever it is that you want in your life, or what you want to have around you, that is where the thing is, be the change you want to be you do actually have to participate in this way to allow the vibration to come out. Otherwise, the quantum does just, it does exist, just like the piano strings exist. But it is our intentions, our experiences, our actions that allow the vibration to spark alive. And then what the quantum does that the piano does not do is it directly comes to the source that was sent to it. So in other words, if I have a loving thought 
and I send that loving thought out, then when it fluxes into the photons of the quantum and the photons are released and they start to stream towards Earth, it has my imprint on it. And so it looks for that imprint and it sends me the love that I sent out. So I'm hoping that this explains it a little bit in that you can understand that you don't have to be a certain way. What you have to be is true to yourself and you have to understand what you would want in life. And then once you understand that, start sending that out. If you do not want fear, then send out brave. And if you are brave and you want to be uh, restful, send out peace. Um, that's the most that I could tell you at this point that might be able to help you start turning a few things on for yourself because the solstice is coming and this again is going to be a massive time when downloads are going to be sent to earth. I mean, they're happening all the time, but these certain days are coming up where it would be very most helpful if that even around those days, three days, the day of and three days after, that you concentrated all of your thoughts, your feelings, your actions for exactly what you would like to have stream to you. So think of it as like a little experiment that you're going to start today and in sending these things out, see how often that they come back to you or how long it takes for them to come back to you. But I promise you, what you send out will be answered. And that is how you align with the quantum. And that is how you know which frequencies are yours to have. All the frequencies are there. Whatever it is that you tell the quantum you want to have is exactly what you will get. So I hope this helped out a bit. Have a very nice night. And I think that I'll be doing these this way because it's very easy and I don't have to worry about matching up what I'm saying to any kind of graphic. By the way, this is my favorite place. You go out to Saturn, you take a left, and you head for the pink section in the sky. Well, actually, the universe. <laughs> Take care, everybody. This is a great journey we're on, and it's only going to get better.